We've always had a soft spot for Beaverbrook in the neighborhood uh, and the architecture of the homes. And when we uh, found this place, we kind of quickly fell for its charm. It was the uh, sales center for Terran developments in, in this neighborhood. Mark and Tara Lynn purchased this 1700 square foot bungalow in 2019. And in this video, Mark is going to share our plans to complete this three phase retrofit. Our target for this is net zero energy. I'm Casey Gray, the founder of The Conscious Builder, and on this channel, we help you build and live more consciously. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out the links in the description below. I wanna let you know that there is an easier way to market and sell your quality builds and go into conversations with clients confidently prepared to address the unique hurdles that we often face in this sector. We have a new course up for pre-sale in the Conscious Builder Academy called How to Market and Sell Passive Houses and Other High Performance Homes. Check out the Academy through the link below to get the exact strategy and tools and methods that I've developed over the last decade and the reasons why we have over $7.5 million of work locked in today, not including the open sales I have on the books right now. Right now, during the pre-sale, you can save over 87% on the course before it goes live on April 25th, so don't wait. And now, enjoy this video. This is a very unique community in Ottawa, and although the house has a lot of poor design elements attributed to its time of construction, the community represents one of the best examples of a fully planned community based on 20th century urban planning concepts, where nature is the element, houses are designed to blend in nature rather than dominate it, and the idea that the widest range of diversity possible within the mobility of a tricycle. And the old basement was not insulated. It was very drafty, uh, not very comfortable place at all. We had some mold problems in the basement. And throughout the whole house, really, a lot of the, the Beaverbrook homes feature beautiful floor to ceiling windows, uh, but they're probably not that great for our climate. They tend to overheat like crazy in the summer and in the shoulder seasons and are very cold and drafty in the winter. We're starting in the basement. We're going to be insulating and air sealing uh, and dealing with some of the moisture problems in the basement uh, before we turn our attention to the exterior by insulating uh, with continuous insulation all the way around, uh, addressing some of the problems that we have with the current flat roofs that pond water and collect water and don't drain properly. And so we plan to build up the roofs um, and add some slope so that they drain properly. And we're going to be dramatically improving the air tightness of the whole house uh, and adding mechanical ventilation to ensure we have fresh air and, um, and, and giving the whole property a facelift and, and uh, improving uh, the, the curb appeal in the process. So we started our process out by uh, doing an Energuide evaluation. We had HomeSol Building Solutions come and do a blower door test and do our, our energy evaluation. The home scored an air tightness test of about five and a half air changes per hour at, at 50 pascals, which was frankly kind of better than I expected. The joist headers all the way around the perimeter where the floor system meets the foundation, there's no air barrier at all. You can literally reach out uh, and basically touch outside through the, through the rim joist. We have a big, beautiful chimney, but those are notorious for leakage paths and a wood-burning fireplace. And we really love and we want to maintain, but we're going to replace the, the wood-burning fireplace with a sealed wood-fired insert that will be way tighter. We're really hoping to, to tighten up the whole building envelope. Um, our air tightness target for the project is less than one air change per hour at, at 50 pascals of pressure differential. Uh, we'll see how we do. Uh, we're not gonna get this house to passive house levels of air tightness, we don't think. Um, it's really tricky in retrofits to improve air tightness, but we're gonna see how well we can do. Um, 
Otherwise, our, our overall goal is really to, to try and reduce the, the carbon emissions as much as possible. Because it's a big house, with lots of windows, and it has this, this big kind of sprawling H-shaped plan, it's gonna be challenging. Uh, the house uses a lot of energy right now for, for space heating. Uh, we wanna try and reduce that as much as possible. Ultimately, our plan is also to add uh, some solar on uh, the south-facing roof. We have a good area of south-facing roof um, that would get some great solar, um, solar exposure. Uh, and so that will be the last phase, um, that would be phase three, is to try to take, take the project all the way to net zero. If you are a carpenter with hands-on experience in a residential building who's looking for a workplace that will challenge you to grow, if you understand that quality building has become a science and want to make progress in your career while building things to last, and if you want to truly make a difference with a team that values honor, fun, and mastery, then you'll be excited to hear that we are hiring. If you live in Ottawa and this sounds like you, check out the link to apply below. We have currently started demolition on this project and we've started talking about phase two. If you're interested in other exciting projects like this, you can check out this video on an 1800s church renovation that we have upcoming this year as well. Until next time, I'm Casey Gray and remember to live consciously.